Hey everybody, Carl Schuf here from Greensock, and today I just want to talk to you about the features of our Draw SVG plugin. Draw SVG plugin allows you to control how the strokes around SVG elements are revealed. So you can get really cool animations like this. Since it's part of GSAP, we can rewind those animations, play them forward, change the time scale, use callbacks, have all the benefits of overwrite management, and all the other features of GSAP. So what I'm going to do is just walk you through the syntax and uh, get you guys up to speed with using Draw SVG. All right, now I'm just gonna walk you through a few examples of how this syntax works. Here we have a fully drawn SVG path, and we're gonna tell the Draw SVG plugin to tween to a value of 40%, 60%. And what this means is that the beginning of the stroke is gonna to tween to 40% of the total length, and the end of the stroke is gonna to tween to 60% of the total length. So let me just run that animation. And there you go. So we're 40% in and 60% in. Our next animation is going to take in one value. Whenever you pass in just one value, it sets the end position of the line to that value and assumes that the beginning is going to be at a point of zero. So draw SVG 100% moves the end of the line to 100% and the beginning of the line back to zero. Here we have 2350. Notice we're not using percentages. These are absolute values based on whatever units your SVG is using. So here it would be 20 pixels and 350 pixels down the path. Next we have 50%. So again, it's one value. The end is at 50%. The beginning is at zero. Here, if we pass in the value true, it's the same as using 100%. It sets the beginning to zero and the end to 100%. And there we are back at 40% and 60%. It's pretty cool. All right, I'm just gonna very quickly now show you how to set up one of these animations for yourself. We're starting out with an SVG pasted right into our HTML, and it has two paths, one called template, which is gonna be the thin gray line, and another one with the ID of path, which is the thick green stroke that we're going to be animating, okay? That's all that SVG contains. We're loading in tween max and the draw SVG plugin off of CodePen. And by the way, we recommend that you fork these demos and experiment with these tools. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is just add a simple tween. I'm gonna tell tween light to do a two tween on this path element. We're gonna take one second and we're gonna tell the draw SVG plugin that we're gonna set the end value of that stroke to zero. So let me just run that. And after a delay of 0.5 seconds, you'll see that it takes the end and brings it back down to zero. If we pass in two values, again, that's gonna be the start and the end of that line segment. So let's do that whole 40% and 60%. I'm gonna give us a little bit more room here and hit run. And then so now we're going again to 40%, 60%. So that's the full syntax of what I showed you in that previous demo. Now, since this is all a plugin that's used with GSAP, we can use it in any type of tween that we want. We can use it in a from tween, a from to tween, a repeating tween max tween. We can put these tweens into timeline light instances. We can do whatever we want. So let me just do a from tween just to show you how that might work. All right, I can say let's go from... Uh, 50%, 50%, I'm gonna hit run, and then now it starts in the middle and grows out. So 50% goes to zero for the beginning and 50% goes to 100 for the end, all right? That's actually pretty cool. And we can add easing on here. I could say ease bounce dot ease out and hit run, and then now we're gonna get a cool little bounce tween. So lots and lots of potential here. Um, let me do a from to tween, all right? And here I'm gonna start at a position of, we'll say 0%, 10%, all right? So these are gonna be my from vars, and my two vars are gonna look like this. I'm going to say, and we'll do 90%, uh, 100%. And then check this out. So here we're gonna start with a small segment that's zero to 10%, and we're gonna tween it from 90% to 100%. Gonna hit run. And look at that. So we have this very small, we're not really drawing a big line. It looks like we're moving a small sort of sub-segment of that line and we're animating it. 
I think you're going to find, guys, it's a really flexible system. So next, I just want to talk about what types of SVG elements Draw SVG can animate the strokes on. Okay, we've talked about paths so far. We can also do circles, ellipses, rect elements, and polylines. All right, so here's a little demo of each of those circle, ellipse, rect, and polyline. Now, you probably noticed that the circle wasn't animating. Okay, um, we do have a circle animation over here. Now, the issue is that in our SVG, we don't have any stroke or stroke width attributes on this node, okay? The ellipse has a stroke and stroke width as well as the rect has a stroke and stroke width. As well. So you can only see a stroke animating on an element if that element has um, some sort of stroke properties. So one way of handling this is if it's not in the SVG is you can put it in CSS directly if you want to. So now you'll see that the animation works fine because there's actually a stroke that we can see. If you want to do that with JavaScript and tween light, we can uh, close that panel there and we can do it with the tween light set. So here's just a snippet of how that would look. We can just blow that out. And so now we're telling, we're gonna set the circle to have a stroke of red and a stroke width of six. And that's gonna do virtually the same thing. I wanna point out that when you're using draw SVG, it does not progressively draw the fills while the stroke is building. It only handles the stroke. If you wanna change the stroke color, stroke width, and fill during your tween, that's fine. Uh, you would just use those CSS properties. Stroke white, stroke width 20, fill green. So let's just make this really long so we can see that happening. Hit run, and so now you'll see we're editing we're changing all those properties on the fly. And all those additional properties are handled by default in CSS plugin. You don't need any other special SVG plugins for that to work. All right, hope you guys are seeing the potential here with Draw SVG plugin. This plugin is a benefit for Club Greensock members of all levels, but even if you're not a member, you can fork these code pen demos and uh, give it a whirl. Uh, we think you'd be very pleased. Let us know what you think and happy tweening.